Hello, I am Anne O'Neill. I'm Director of Enterprise International Partnerships and Clinical Trials at the Office for Health and Medical Research in New South Wales Ministry of Health. My journey, I think, started when I was um, at school, really. Um, in high school, I was blessed in a little country uh, town up the mid-north coast to have an excellent um, advanced mathematics teacher, uh, excellent professor in bio biology, in physics, and also in chemistry. And I availed myself of all those wonderful teachers, really inspired me to want to be in STEM in some way. I didn't know what it was at that point, but I then went on to do a Bachelor of Science um, Honours at the University of New South Wales and really fell in love with the medical sciences. Uh, because for me, that is the, that it really is the human face. It puts a human face on, on research. And so I developed a great passion for that. Um, after university, I honed out my skills in administration and then so, was so fortunate to be in the right place at the right time when the Children's Hospital at Westmead had moved from Camperdown out to Westmead and uh, they had set up um, a research office and they were looking for an R&D manager. And so that was really my first um, job um, in, in this space. Uh, was jack of all trades for quite some time because it was a, like a startup really, and uh, learned about human research ethics, uh, animal houses, good lab practice, and I was also really fortunate to have an amazing uh, generosity from the clinicians and the surgeons who really taught me what it's like to un undertake research in a public health system, and the passion that they had for um, finding solutions to the real world pro problems that they were seeing in their patients. Um, so I was there for quite some time, um, nearly 15 years, and uh, I was very grateful for that, um, that very significant learning um, at, the, um, at the Children's Hospital. Um, and then after that, I wanted to get into policy. I wanted to see how government worked. Uh, and so um, I have been part of the Office for Health and Medical Research now for, um, in its various guises, but particularly in health for over 10 years. Uh, and this is really where I have found my stride in terms of being part of uh, new policy development, new initiatives, how can we um, you know, best support the sector to deliver health outcomes and also um, uh, better, uh, uh, better outcomes for the economy and for, um, and for really high value jobs. And we've been able to do that through the Medical Devices Fund um, and other commercialisation programs within New South Wales Health. Part of my role is um, to look at international partnerships. And uh, the part of the office of the work of the Office for Health and Medical Research is to act as a concierge for industry and international collaborators to find a way into New South Wales Health and to be able to navigate not just through the programs that we run through the office, but very broadly across government. Um, so one of the things that um, I do as part of my role is to uh, go to conferences like BIO, which is uh, in the US and it's the largest biotech conference in the world. And New South Wales Health and Partnership with Investment New South Wales has been attending that conference and taking a New South Wales delegation for several years now. The reason why I find that really exciting is that we can showcase New South Wales to the rest of the world. And the rest of the world understands New South Wales simply because of, you know, we have the Harbour Bridge, we have, you know, the Opera House, it's iconic. But beyond that, in terms of a connected Australia and Team Australia approach, we know that we have international leadership in advanced therapeutics such as gene therapy and phage therapy. We also um, are building extraordinary capacity in RNA, not just mRNA for vaccine purpose, but the whole platform. And we have, um, we're, we're becoming really well known for our early phase clinical trials. So the opportunity to travel um, to the US or uh, more recently to Canada, uh, we've also had delegations going to Korea and elsewhere. It's really about saying we are open for business. We are able to leverage the whole of the health system um, for the purpose of accessing key opinion leaders, patients, clinical trial sites. And I think that's really, really exciting now that the world is opening up again and we can travel. If you're thinking of a career within New South Wales Health, be prepared to have your mind blown. It is huge, it, is, um, it has many, many parts, but it's all connected. Uh, from uh, a hospital to a local 
health district to the ministry itself. And they're all driven by a, a single purpose, which is um, how do you um, create better value healthcare um, for the people of New South Wales? And so if you're interested in health, if you have a passion for adding value, you'll f find an op opportunities, many opportunities to do it within New South Wales Health. And I think that's the reason why so many people stay within this agency um, or related agencies because they're able to do that. For, from the research perspective, I think over the last 10 years that has transformed because the Office for Health and Medical Research is within the ministry. And what that means is that we can embed high quality research out into the, into the health system. We can um, influence how our programs uh, interact in terms of you know, whether it be early phase clinical trials all the way through to um, commercialisation and have a significant role to play in not just health but also the wealth of, of this state. Um, we've been able to show that through our programs having great impact um, and being able to take intellectual property and ideas and innovation and translate them into things that we can use. And then that's incredibly meaningful. So I would encourage you if you have any interest in this space is that New South Wales Health is really the place to come.